Hey, this is Politics with Laura. Today, I have a very interesting one. And it's really going to, it's going to be hard for me to present. And it will be hard for you to hear. Please, stay with me. Please stay with me because we really need to have this conversation. Now, as, as an American citizen, whether if you're American citizen, American citizen by birth, or by naturalization. We're going to have to really stop and look at history and tell the truth. As brutal and ugly as it is, we can't lie to our children because it has a tendency to come back and I'm starting to see it come back. I do. Now, I made a statement a couple of videos ago where I said, well, you know, DeSantis wants to take black history out of the curriculum, fine. You know, they're only lying to us anyway, and we need to teach our own children history. So I didn't stop to think about the magnitude of that statement. I didn't. Because I was only thinking about, look, okay, black people, you need to teach your children history. But I didn't think about white children, Latino children, Asian children. Indian children that would be left out of that. And I repent on that. Now, Governor Abbott is reimagining history, reimagining slavery, to where parent who taught her child well enough to where he looked, looked at the history book, and it stated that Africans did not come over here as slaves. We came over here to work, freely come to work, which was it? Which made me go back to DeSantis. If Governor Abbott is pushing that lie, reimagining history to not Look at American history for what it really is. It's brutal. It is brutal. Now, you may take offense to what I'm saying. Hey, don't, don't look at me. Look at the people that actually did it. They get mad at me, get mad at them. Because I'm the wrong person to get mad at. It would, be, it would be silly for you to get mad at me. Silly. Because I'm just talking about it. They did it. Okay. Now, I wanted to look at the word picnic. Black people know exactly where I'm going. Many of you do not. The word picnic is so derogatory. So derogatory. And they don't teach it in school. And they need to. Because this went from the 1880s up to 1962. And the next time when you tell people, you know, white people, Asians, people that are naturalized citizens, don't ever tell anyone to get over anything about, about history, especially slavery. And for a lot of you, become so desensitized that it means nothing to you. By it mean nothing to you, that it should mean nothing to us and how we, Black people, African Americans, foundational Black Americans, however you want to put it, should get over it and don't deserve reparations. And this is what I'm talking about, how they lie in school. Because if you knew the truth, you wouldn't even say those things. You would, not, you would never be that desensitized to humanity. Or just have your understanding of American history sanitized, I'll put it like that. I'll put it nicely. So, stick with me. If you agree with me, please, drop a heart. Drop a red heart. And drop a pink heart if you disagree with me. And then we could talk about it on the chats.
or comment section. All right, take a look at this. Now, I found this quite interesting because I, I looked up picnic, and it's a French word to where uh, they would go out in the 1700s and they would go out and have food outside. So, so it, it's, it's a, a French word. And let me make sure I get it right. French, it's picnic. I'm saying it all wrong. But here, if you look right, okay, look at that. That right there is a picnic. That was when they would take um, a, a slave or out outside of slavery in the Jim Crow and have a black person run, catch him, put him over a fire and have people stand around and taking a picture. And this went up from the 1880s, 1870s, to 1880s to 1960s. Yes, I said it, 1960s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 1960s. Mm. History's brutal. All right. So, and here, make sure I can get this. Let me make this bigger. The 1700s is a French word, picnic. The meaning was similar today in a uh, social gathering where we say picnic. But here, it, uh, but it's a clear, the picnic is not derived from that right there, as we would say, picnic, as you can see right there. But this history is not told. It's not told. So I think that we need to teach this. Not, not only that parents need, need to teach their children the truth, no matter, it's, it's, it's going to be hard for people to teach their children this. And it's going to be hard, excuse me, for other people coming from other places to have an understanding to even be able to grapple with this. And it's going to be hard for white people to be able to grapple with this because this is the true history. So. Having, um, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, was it CRT, uh, critical race theory? And sitting there saying, hey, you're white, so you're a racist. You ought to feel ashamed of yourself. You're, you, you know, uh, uh, slavery, you know, you're the ancestor of slavery and, and you still perpetuate white supremacy and, and I don't know. I truly don't know, but I do know that the truth needs to be told. I know that because if we don't tell the truth today, then we're going to make the mistakes of tomorrow. And then the mistakes of tomorrow might be flipped. It may be flipped to where, I don't know, whites and blacks could be enslaved. And then you may have, let's say, Asians enslaving us. No, don't shoot me. It's just, it's just, just a thought. Just something to say, but but it but if we don't tell the truth, then the lie will continue to make a group of people feel comfortable. And learning is not about being comfortable. Learning is about learning the truth to bring you to light. 
to bring you out of ignorance. And holding people in ignorance so that you don't have to feel the like okay. Let's 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 go back to Little Rock, Arkansas when when the um uh the girl Rose oh my I can't remember her name. How how they did not want a little black girl going to school to where she was in a classroom by herself because the people were so racist. Now, here's the interesting part. The grandparents do not want that history told. They don't want their, their grandchildren to know how racist their grandparents were. Yeah, history needs to be told. They need to know. Uh, Rose knows. I mean, she still lives it. She still lives with it. The people that was affected by it still lives with that. And they need to deal with, with their behavior at that time. So that if they're like, well, my grandparents were racist, I'm not a racist, so I'm going to be better than that. That is that, that right there will take us out of ignorance by saying, my grandparents were like that, but I'm nowhere like that. Mm -mm. No. And I'm going to teach my children not to be like that. That is what education does. That is how we are taking out of ignorance into light. True history needs to be told. Not history reimagined. Not saying that math is racist. Not saying that science is racist. That's stupid. That, that, that's stupid and taking it to the point of no return. And the fact that people actually back it, shame on you. Shame on you because you're perpetuating this ignorance, perpetuating the lie, and you're making it okay to let allow your children and your children too not to think. On that note, I didn't mean for this video to go this long. What are your thoughts?